Hi everyone! In this week's episode of Chic and Cheap, we will be making these singed or melted fluffy flowers. And this is actually the second version of a melted flower I've posted a tutorial for. I will link the original down below. You can use some sort of synthetic fabric like satin, organza, tulle. I love using acetate, the kind that they use to line clothing with. And this is the flower we'll be making today. I am using the acetate and some organza. I cut out three pieces the length of the fabric and I cut them about three to four inches wide. Now I'm taking my lengths of fabric and I'm folding them in half over and over again. And then cutting that folded fabric into the shape of a petal. And then you'll have something like this. You will repeat that step with all of your lengths of fabric. Now I'm taking a candle and I just want to mention be safe when working with fire. And I'm going to start very quickly holding the petals above the candle flame just enough to give it a little bit of a curl. It happens very quickly. You don't want to burn the edges. You just want to give them a little bit of a curl and keep the fabric up above the flame. Now I'm doing the same with my organza and you can see that even happens quicker. So just be careful and maybe keep a bowl of uh, water handy. Once you've finished, you'll take a needle and thread, tie a nice knot in the end of your thread, and fold your length of fabric in half. Try to offset the petals a little bit, and then you'll start doing a running stitch or basting stitch on the edge. You'll keep doing your running stitch until you get to the end. And then gather up your fabric. I'm taking my last petal and putting a stitch with that into the first petal. And now tying a knot. You can go ahead and even out your ruffles. And repeat that step for all of your fabric. Now I'm taking the one I want to place on the bottom layer and I'm squeezing the bottom together. As you can see, I'm sort of just squeezing it together and I'm adding glue not only on the bottom but also around the edge so the glue goes up a little bit up the sides of the fabric. Now I'm going to press that into the center of the base fabric and squeeze it at the bottom because I want those two layers to stick together at the bottom. And I'm just fluffing it up. And repeating with this layer. And that's what gets the flower to puff up like a peony and be fluffy as opposed to just laying them down flat. So I'm going to use some stamens for this one because I don't want a big bulky center that will flatten out my flower. And I'm adding a little bit of glue, also going up the edge a little bit and sticking that down in the center and giving it another squeeze until the glue is dry and it will look like this. Take a felt disc and glue that to the bottom of your flower to hide any of the 
frayed edges. And that's it. I find these flowers to be very relaxing to make. It's very enjoyable. I actually watch YouTube videos while I make my flowers and stitch them up and have fun playing around with different synthetic fabrics and mixing and matching. And I hope you'll feel inspired to try this yourself. Thanks for watching.